What's going on Chavez Slovakia? It is your boy Chavez here and today we are here to watch Origins Explained. Now, Origins Explained is a really good YouTube channel that basically just does a lot of cool facts from the internet. Now, today we are doing my personal favorite and I will branch out to do other stuff later, but we gotta do insects! Come on, man! This is the most bizarre insects on Earth. Now, hopefully some of these are insects that I already know about, and hopefully some of them are some that I don't know anything about, so we can all be more scared of the world we live in. Hi, cat. My cat's been bothering me all morning. He's hanging out. He doesn't like insects, and he's not a very good bug hunter. I don't know why you want to be here for this one. Maybe we could do one about food, huh? You want to do a video about cat food? I want to do one about the death of all humans. Well, you know, that works too, bud. Whatever. Hi. You want to sit on you want to sit on the computer? Or you could just walk away. No problem. Just wanted to get hair on me. So if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. Of course, man. Let me see if this is a good vid, dude. I'm really excited for this one. From toxic toupees to deadly traps, here are nine of the most interesting insects on the planet. Let's see what we got, man. Mystery like uh, number nine, San Carmen San Diego moss caterpillar, also known as oh, yeah, this, this warm and cuddly looking caterpillar, is actually one of the most toxic yep. caterpillars in North America and are sending people to the hospital. <laughs> the puss caterpillar got its name because it resembles a cuddly house cat like Puss in Boots. While it may look soft, each hair is actually like a hypodermic needle that injects venom upon contact. Yep. Though the stings are not fatal, it is said that each hair that stings you feels like a bee sting, but worse. How much it hurts, of course, depends on where you get stung and how many spiny hairs get embedded in your skin. This caterpillar becomes hairier each time it molts, eventually resembling a toxic toupee, <laughs> as they are also called. After the caterpillar stage, they build a hard cocoon for their metamorphosis into a southern flannel moth. This adorable moth resembles a- Adorable. Is that how you want to put it? Fluffy cotton ball, but is still toxic when- I think they're cute. <laughs> The cocoon has a small hump on the back of it called a hair pocket that collects the old hairs as the caterpillar grows its new set of fur. After the adult moths are mature enough to leave, their cocoons are often used by smaller insects for shelter or a place to nest. When the female adult moths lay their eggs, they cover them with hair from their abdomen to protect them and keep them <clears> warm, <throat> and the cycle starts again. For goodness sake, don't go around petting fluffy caterpillars. Number eight. Okay, let's see if they can have, we have a video of a puss moth. Hold on. Because they're really cool. I want you to see what they look like when they move around. I'm and Cody of Peterson. course the first video I find is from Brave Wilderness. <laughs> that will be another video. What the fuck is he doing? This guy is insane. Oh my god, that guy is incredible. Alright, let's finish this video. Amazonian tree we'll get to that ants. later. Considered to be one of the most cruel and tactically violent insects, Amazonian tree ants have a very particular way of hunting. These tiny ants live in trees in the forests of the northern Amazon. Researchers from the University of Toulouse found that the ants lived in hollowed out branches that they reinforced with plant hairs and fungus. Many ants in the Amazon use host plants as sanctuaries between their nests and foraging areas. However, this particular species uses these hollowed out spaces for something much more sinister. sinister. These strategic hollow yeah. places in the branches were originally thought to be simple entrances and exits, nope. but scientists then discovered they were part of an elaborate mechanism used for hunting. A large group of ants wait just under Ugh. each hole with their mandibles wide yeah. open, waiting for a passing insect. When the prey approaches, the ants jump out of the holes and quickly bite the legs and antenna of the insect, stretching it out and immobilizing the victim like a mid or torture rack. Yeah. When the larger insect is restrained, a group of worker ants swarm onto its body and bite and sting the prey until it is paralyzed or dead. Yep. The body is then chopped into it's pieces chopped and carried back inside to be eaten. Very dark, but effective for sure. Number seven, globe skimmer dragonfly. Biologist Charles Anderson noted that each year millions of dragonflies arrive on the Maldives the Islands, is which is well known to people who live there, but nobody knew where they came from. Oh. He began keeping detailed records Holy found that every year smokes. the dragonflies would fly thousands of kilometers across what? the sea from southern India to Africa. From India to Africa? In October. Traveling a distance of over 1,000 miles in as little as 24 hours and sometimes over 3,000 miles, 
When they occasionally migrate to eastern and southern For Africa, what? the globe skimmer dragonfly's migration dwarfs the migration of the monarch butterfly, which fly about half the distance in the Americas. The dragonflies are migrating from India across the open sea to the Maldives, only staying there for a couple of days before continuing on their journey. For what? To travel such a vast distance in so little time, the globe skimmer dragonflies travel on intertropical winds at an altitude oh, of 1,000 wow. meters high, but are able to reach an altitude of 6,300 meters, the highest of any butterfly species. These dragonflies have also been said to ride on monsoon winds to reach their destination. Oh, okay. The dragonfly can migrate twice a year depending on the winds. With their migration patterns, the globe skimmer dragonfly holds the record for the longest migration of any insect, Damn. as well as being the only known insect to migrate over open ocean. Number six, cool. glasswing butterfly. Glasswing butterflies are dope. Rainforests of Mexico and Panama, the glasswing butterfly is an enchanting species that looks like someone forgot to color in the rest of it. Most <laughs> butterflies have brightly colored wings to scare off large predators, while the glasswing butterfly does just the opposite. Their tiny bodies and almost completely see-through wings allow them to easily blend in with their surroundings. If not for the orange and black borders around their small wings, our human eyes might not even notice the insect had wings or even notice the insect at all. The mm. Spanish name for these creatures is espejitos. Literally, Espejitos? Is that, did she say that right? It's not like she fucked that up. Translated meaning little mirrors. Transparency found in nature is a concept that is not well understood by science. Okay. For something to be transparent, it must not absorb or scatter light, which explains why very few natural things are transparent as they can both absorb or even radiate light. Uh -huh. Though their wings look as delicate as thin glass, they have been found to be just as strong and resilient as any other species of butterfly. This insect derives from the clear wing clade, which also includes the hummingbird dragonfly, as well as many other insects found to be long extinct. When mating season comes, the male glasswing butterflies practice lecking, which involves each male showing off its most desirable and attractive features in a large group. So does that mean I'm lecking every time I shoot a YouTube video? Showing off my face as the females choose their mates based on their appearance. When the females lay their eggs, Ew. they attach them to a highly toxic plant. Those look disgusting. <laughs> that looks so gross. This nightshade, the caterpillars are born with oh. bright red and- Oh, that is an uncomfortable up close shot. How'd you like to see that thing facing you in the morning, huh? Right in front of your goddamn face purple stripes to ward off predators. The alkaloid chemicals found in the plant stay with the butterflies into adulthood, making them unappetizing to birds and larger animals. Number five, spiny leaf insect. As its name suggests, the spiny that, those leaf are insect- cool. Yeah, spiny leaf, yeah, these things are fucking awesome, man. Or the giant prickly stick insect looks like a large clump of crunchy yeah. leaves. These insects are native to Australia and can be anywhere from five to eight inches long, making them the largest known <laughs> stick insect. Five? to eight inches, bruh, long. It is covered with large thorny spikes which double as armor and camouflage. They are considered harmless to humans and are often kept as pets. The Why insects the do fuck would you keep that as a pet? not metamorphosize and instead grow by molting. No. When they shed their old skin, they hang upside down by their rear ends, peel off the old shells, and let gravity do the rest. Stick insects are remarkable creatures that can regenerate lost limbs like a starfish what? or a lizard. Really? If it loses one of its legs, it just grows back and after three molts will look the same as before. Are you serious? It also has an amazing defensive strategy. When threatened, the insect will curl its tail to imitate a defensive scorpion. Predators who are interested see the scorpion shape and probably decide it's not worth the risk. It can also release a scent offensive to other insects, but to humans it smells like peanut butter or toffee. <laughs> That is cool. All right, let's look up a video of the spiny um, leaf insects. Those things are cool. These things are fucking cool. Yo, they have one in Monster Bug Wars. Yes. Man, this is the greatest day of my life. Woo. All right, let's finish this video. We got a lot of stuff to do now. Number yeah. four. The Invincible Velvet Ant. Yeah, I actually Velvet saw ants. this little guy in the mountains of New Mexico when my parents were building their house. It was scurrying along and we had no idea what it was, but it was cute. It was actually a velvet ant, which it turns out is not really an ant, but a wasp. Not so cute anymore. Nope. The males have wings Sting and are pretty plain, unlike the bright and furry females. They can be yellow, orange, red, white, or black. 
The females can mimic each other's colors to ensure their protection and can also squeak by vibrating their abdomen, warning a predator and hopefully making it drop it. As if that weren't enough, they secrete bad smells, have a hard, slippery shell that prevents them from being crunched, and have an extremely painful sting. I'm glad I didn't try to pick it up. Number three, hummingbird moths. Probably one of the most delightful moths. Oh yeah, these we'll are cute. See. This these are cute. insect moves and flies just like a hummingbird. Yeah, these they are fly cool. poised in the air in front of a flower while they insert their very long tongue or proboscis into the flower to reach the nectar. The female hummingbird moth only lays one egg or very few eggs at a time. If you live in the northern hemisphere and want to attract them to your garden, they are especially fond of plants in the honeysuckle family. Even though they start that flying in the so spring, sexual. you are most likely to see them between <laughs> June and August. If you see one, they are considered a good omen. Number two, the devil's cool. flower mantis. One of the largest types of yeah. flower mantis, the devil's flower mantis is also one of the strangest. Also looks like that thing from uh, that Riddick movie, that first Riddick movie, Dark Planet or some shit, whatever the hell that thing's Females called. Females of the species can measure up to five inches long and have developed a range of natural coloring that allows them to mimic the devil's flower, a type of orchid. <laughs> on the outside, the mantis has white and green stripes, while on the inside, it has bright red, looks like a fucking white, Pokemon. blue, and and black markings, they are most well known for this dramatic pose and display of color. Mantids are predators and their hunting style usually involves sitting and waiting until their prey comes within reach. Mmm, sitting and waiting till somebody feeds you. Me and this mantis have a lot in common. Then it will whip out its forearms at lightning speed to snag its victim. These dramatic colors mimic a flower to actually lure its prey within reach. Number one. Whew. Alexa, tell Tide we have a juice stain. Okay, I will guide you through removing the stain. Or to actually lure its prey within reach. Number one, honeybees. This social animal is considered one of the most intelligent. Studies show that they can Why recognize is this a, and distinguish a between human insect? faces, which is bizarre seeing as this is not very important to its survival. In another experiment, it is shown that honeybees could actually count by having them land on the third number in a series of landmarks. The distance was always changed and further study indicated they could count to about four, but still. Bees are capable of observation, learning, and problem-solving skills to approach each flower differently. They are not born with any instinctive knowledge about how to get nectar or pollen from flowers and have to learn it from other bees and insects. Pretty impressive for such a little creature. Another incredible bit of intelligence is known as the waggle dance. A bee will do a little dance to communicate to other bees where a flower or other food is located. The bee will move in an oval shape with a line down the middle. The directions all have to do with where the sun is. Dancing straight up means to fly in the direction of the sun, straight down means away from the sun, and the bee will follow the imaginary line and then make loops in an oval shape to indicate the distance to the other bees. The amount of time it takes the bee to make its oval shaped circuit is how far the bees will have to travel. I know, I almost didn't believe all of this either. These behaviors are way more advanced than most people would think a little insect is capable of. Thick. I'm disappointed in that because you learned that in middle school. And if you didn't learn that in middle school, you went to the wrong middle school. <laughs> But yeah, honeybees are incredibly intelligent insects. It's the Africanized honeybees that people give a bad rap to that are really aggressive because they'll fuck you up. But this was good. This was actually a really good video. Thank you, Origins Explained. That was actually very nice. They have a couple more vids that I was interested in checking out, but I just don't know if they're, I'm gonna actually going to do those videos or not because now I have all these other vids now because we got to watch Brave Wilderness be brave and we have to watch the stick mantis the stick bug do his thing but i'll see you guys in the next video chavis slovakia think about learning about these bugs with me i'll see you next time peace